um, I received a word from the Lord yesterday, Tuesday, June 20th, 2023, at approximately 8.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Lord wants me to call this word, calling you home. Um, as always, I encourage every single one of you to test the spirit. Do not take my word for it. Um, get back into the secret place. Humble yourself before the Lord. Pray, ask him for confirmation. Meditate on his word. He will speak to you there as well. And again, in order to test the spirit, you test the spirit by the Holy Spirit. This is what the Lord said. O oh, you who I have breathed my breath into, the one I formed so carefully in the womb, the thoughts I have of you outnumber the grains of sand on the seashore. Why do you resist me? Why do you reject my outstretched arm? I sacrificed everything for you, took your appointed wrath upon myself, bearing the weight of all of your sin. I shed my blood as a free will offering to spare you from the wrath to come. To gather you as a shepherd does his sheep. Still, you shut your eyes to my desperate, you shut your ears to my desperate pleas to turn to me and live. You mock my only begotten son. The God of this world has blinded your mind, so having eyes you do not see, and having ears you do not hear. Or you would humble yourself, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways, and I would heal your land. I would wash you clean and cleanse you of unrighteousness. You would be my people, and I would be your God. My laws would be written on the tablet of your heart. You would long to do my will. The desires of my heart would become your own. I would forgive your sin and remember it no more. It would be thrown into it, the sea of forgetfulness. I have counted your tears in my bottle and promised you honor for shame. Out of the miry clay, I will raise you to new life, making you a brand new creation, the apple of my eye, my most prized possession giving you joy for your morning, a joy that can only be found in my presence. I long for you to know me. I desire to commune with you, but your sin has separated you from me. You are perishing and know it not. My word is foolishness to you. You have been blinded to the truth. Oh, my people, how long? How long must I bear with you? Have I not been patient? You have even known my favor when you don't know me. My kindness, my goodness, and abundant mercy is meant to draw you to repentance. Repent and believe in my promises. Believe in the gospel. Believe in me. And I will open my arms to receive you. I will be your father and you will be my child. I will watch over you zealously with, all, with my all-seeing eyes. You will be safe with me. I will protect you from the darkness that is about to cover the earth. My righteousness will be your own. I will sustain you in a famine. I will set before you an open door saying, this is the way. Walk in it. Everything I have is yours. But if you reject me on the earth, I will reject you before my Father in heaven. I will render a verdict of guilty and command you to depart from me, you who practice iniquity. You will go to a place prepared for the devil and his angels where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You will be cast into outer darkness. You will be sentenced to an eternity where the fire is not quenched and the worm never dies. A place void of everything I am. Void of mercy. Void of goodness, void of kindness, void of life. I am the God of the living, not the dead. Choose whom this day you will serve.